From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon as inflation stimulus checks, ISC, are joined with FSC, federal stimulus checks, LSC, a lot of stimulus checks, and yes, they all add up to MSC and multiple stimulus checks. We'll go over these now 16 categories, 16 categories of nearly 400 plus checks that yield nearly $300,000. Brand new inflationary relief check, inflation relief checks. We call them ISC on this channel. Then we have those incredible 14 categories of incredible checks that yield about $300,000. They're from the federal government. We'll go over those. Those are checks A through O, FSC, plus those lifetime stimulus checks. That's the raising your benefits. Going up a lot, about $5,000. It's coming up in today's recording, and they all add up to MSC, at least more than $2,000 a month over six months. Let's go over the latest breaking news as well. The two-year note surging over 4.23, and that is exactly where I told you it was going to go. The last two weeks, I told you the two-year note was going to surge because of the spiraling downward of the economy over 4% is happening. Then the 10-year note surges well over 4%, the first time since 2010. The 30-year mortgage, I told you that 30-year mortgage by the end of the year would go to 7%. It went to 7% by the end of this month. It's already there today, that's really quick. Meantime, we have hiring freezes coming in from Lyft. Yes, the ride-sharing company. We also have Apple saying that there's gonna be a drop in demand uh, for their iPhone products. This is a major surprise. The stock is down dramatically. Then we have the impact of Hurricane Ian, or Ian on the Gulf of Mexico and oil prices dropping dramatically in the United States this is big news for you and your benefits. Plus, the markets remain choppy and the Bank of England is turning into a mess. We'll explain why. And then, of course, the big surprise, demand destruction happening and its impact on the U.S. economy. Plus, we'll go over more about my personal commentary on where this economy is going and where it's heading and why I've gone to the right and how you as an incredible member of this channel are going to get those sums of money. For the shorts of Santa Monica, California, let's get that incredible money. It all starts right here, right now on a jam-packed, supersized Afternoons LA. Right. And good morning, everybody. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it is now once again hot. <laughs> it is once again hot. We have another heat wave upon us, and I, you know, I'm not happy. The flowers aren't happy, but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> good afternoon. How are you? We have a jam-packed, supersized recording today. If you didn't get that teaser or that opening tease, it was a lot. It was a mouthful. A lot going on. In today's recording, we're going to go over... The monster checks. What's going on? This is exciting. Inflation relief checks in virtually every U.S. state. These are huge. I'm calling them ISC. They're coming up in today's recording. Then we're going to go over those incredible checks A through O, which you've seen on the channel for the last few months. FSC, federal stimulus checks, huge. Then we'll go over that a lifetime. We'll raise your benefits. You're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits. We call this a lifetime stimulus check, LSC. And they together, now bring us to, I'm trying to keep track of the numbers because it's a lot, 16 categories of about $400,000. Incredible sums of money. We all call those collectively M. SC, MSC is back, baby. At least $2,000 a month over six months. It's incredible. It's just absolutely incredible. But let's start with the other breaking news that's happening that impacts your wallet. Stay with me. We're going to go over all these incredible checks. Lay this according. Go on this video. Become a member. It seems as though everything that has been projected for this economy by me and predicted has come true, and it really has. I predicted inflation, I predicted a recession, and most recently I predicted the bonds and the mortgages. Two weeks ago, you and I were discussing on this channel how the two-year bond was trending up. 
upon the news the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates. And I projected that two-year bond was going to go over 4%. It was just 37 about two weeks ago, about a week and a half ago. It is now past 4 the question now is where the rent's going to go to five. I mean, this is really out of control. Today, it's at 4.295, so it's basically a 4.3. Could we get to five by the end of the year? Yes. My brand new prediction right now is a two-year treasury note will go to 5% by the end of the year. I mean, this is just insane. It has gone from 3.7 to 4.3 in just a few days. And this is the highest drop jump we've seen since 2010. The 10-year note, 10-year bond, is also surging as well to 4%, um, and this is out of control. I was not with you on air yesterday, but I really wish I was, because I had told you that the 30-year fixed mortgage rate in the U.S. economy, which had started the year at about a 2%, then a 3% for much of the much of this year, it went sporadically to 6% for a month earlier in March, and then came back down to 3% was going to go to 7%, was my prediction, by Christmas. I predicted the 30-year mortgage to buy a home going to 7% by the end of Christmas. It went to 7% by the end of that day. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes, the mortgage rate, which was about 6% two days ago, is now 7% right now. In all my years of doing this, and in all the years of other people doing this, everyone's saying the same thing. These rates have never moved this fast ever in recorded history. No one has ever seen these rates move this quickly. So here you go. 7% mortgage to buy a home. No one could afford that. The housing market will absolutely go in the tank. So now where am I putting this mortgage rate by the end of the year? <laughs> by the end of this broadcast is more of the question. It's definitely going to go to 8% by the end of the year. It's definitely going to go to 8% by the end of the year. But, you know, I have to think about this. Maybe I'll know by evenings it may go to 8% by the end of the month. I mean, this is just insane. It really is insane. We have some earnings coming in, and these are very important for you. Why? Because it shows what Kathy Wood of ARC said yesterday is supply chain destruction. And that is when the Federal Reserve does things, it, it destroys people's demand to buy items. <clears throat> and what came in? Pre-market trading, we learn that Apple says there's going to be a drop uh, an a anticipated surge in demand for their Apple phones is not happening. It's not happening. And so they are pulling off plans for production of a new, uh, they're backing off plans, production of a new iPhone 14 line, according to individuals close to the source. And that is because they do not believe the demand to buy the Apple iPhone 14, which I have no idea how expensive this. If you do, maybe jump in the live chat. I don't, I don't track iPhone prices. I know there's a lot of people that do, and they're very expensive. I'm mean, some of them are thousand uh, dollars. The demand is not there, and so the stock is down four percent in pre market trading. Walt Disney World has Walt Disney has closed four of its theme parks in Florida because of Hurricane Ian, which is now Category Four this morning. My thoughts and prayers to all my viewers in Florida right now that are watching. And anyone in neighboring states, because of course it's heading there. And then Lyft, the range ride sharing company. I mean, wasn't it just like yesterday that Uber and Lyft said they could not find drivers, that there was a shortage of drivers? Well, Lyft says that now there's the freezing hiring for the whole rest of this year. They say that hiring has dramatically uh, is 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 cutting back dramatically to save costs. The stock is down 2.5 in pre-market trading. And then BlackBerry. Do you still have a BlackBerry? I never had one. Uh, falling in pre-market trading. There you go. It's just absolutely incredible. Now, amidst all that, incredible great news. We have ISC checks. We have FSC checks. We have LSC checks. We have all that and it all adds up to MSC, multiple stimulus checks. Incredible great news is happening right now. You know, it's a lot to keep track of. And I'm going to try to keep it in hand. That's why you want to become a member. It's a lot of different types of checks of a lot of different types of magnitude. They all just look really wonderful. And it's a lot to keep track of. That's why you have to become a member. Grind this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Vial, Calcino, VIP, and this is all in the membership newsletter. Let me go over each of these checks uh, uh, overview before we go into the subject of one of them at a time. 
And they are all monthly stimulus checks, and they're all at least $2,000 a month over six months. Incredible. The first one is the most obvious, lifetime stimulus, the raise of your benefits. This is a lifetime stimulus checks because you're going to get a lifetime more money than you ever thought you would. And this is $5,000 for some of you, some of you more, and it, it it's tens of thousands of dollars over a generation. The next items that we've been featuring on this channel for a long time are those checks A through O. They are FSCs, federal stimulus checks. They come from the federal government. I like the term FSC because it makes it very clear. It's from the federal government. Jump in the live channel, write those words right now. FSC, checks A through O. So there's no confusion who's paying the checks. It's from the federal government. If you don't know what the federal government is, it's the Congress, it's the President of the United States. It's not your state. And the last one is inflation relief stimulus checks. I call it ISC. Yeah, if you do it the other way, it's IRS. That would be very confusing. Uh, so we call it ISC, inflation relief checks. These do come from your state. They are virtually in every state. They are brand new. And let's, uh, let's understand the magnitude of all these incredible checks. The magnitude of all these incredible checks is just overwhelming. There's a lot of checks now. There's so many checks Every view on this channel likely qualifies for about a handful of checks. A handful of checks. So you're going to qualify for, for an FSC. You're going to qualify for an ISC. Most of the viewers of the channel are over 40 years of age. So if you are, you may also be qualified. Uh, if you're even older than that, you might be qualified for benefits checks because of, of the, your age or, or your condition, like SSI and SSDI. We're going to go over all that in just a second. Stay with me. Go into this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Pearl Power Castle, you know, VIP. Uh, the markets are going to remain choppy. <laughs> I love this title because I look at it. I'm like, markets will remain choppy? No, the markets are going to remain a mess. I mean, they're going to be horrible. Megan Horman, Chief Investment Officer for Dance, says, I think the market's going to be pretty choppy, going to be on the sideways, and we're going to be a little bit more clarity uh, going forward. Oh, Lord. They're going to be a mess. <laughs> choppy is a, a, a soft wording to this. The Bank of England, I would not normally run this story, but I think this story is very pertinent to you personally. Why? The Bank of England has seen a very big, messy situation happen with their economy, especially at the bonds. And they said today that they're going to intervene and start selling, they are going to start selling bonds, let me make sure I get this right, and they're going to actually start buying long-term bonds to artificially support the bond market. Yes. So they're going to try to artificially create interest rates there that should not belong. What would be the equivalent of that in the United States? The equivalent of that is if Jay Powell did something artificially in buying or selling at the Federal Reserve to artificially create an environment that this economy does not really have. This economy is a recession. This economy has inflation. He would create an environment which is artificially created by the Federal Reserve by playing with numbers and buying and selling. Is this dangerous? It's incredibly dangerous. It's very dangerous to artificially create an economy that's not really true. And more importantly, this is important to understand you because we're going to go over this later. What do I call this? I call this lazy. Call this lazy. The Bank of England should leave their economy not and not create a fake economy and by creating a fake economy it's basically saying we're lazy don't let the economy fall apart we'll artificially create a false economy for you it's something to do with you we'll go over that later in this recording and uh do you like my cup <laughs> you like my cup i know Anne is gonna love my cup it's from her favorite market i think they still have them um you know like a dollar dollar fifty uh ian Category four, my deepest thoughts and prayers to the people of Florida. And Ian is affecting you if you're not in Florida. Why? Gasoline. Again, also predicted by this channel. I had predicted to you that the price of gasoline in the United States, AAA national average, would fall in the month of September. Excuse me, rise in the month of September. Rise in the month of September. Because, as I said back in August and July, September is hurricane season. Everyone in their system brother knows this. And as hurricanes hit, as I said, back in July and August, refineries in the Gulf of Mexico and Florida go offline. They go offline. They turn them off because of hurricanes about to hit. 
And as you go offline, there's less demand, there's less supply, and hence equal demand, the price will go up. And this is what's going on. It today, let me tell you the prices. Triple A national average, 3.765. Wow. So that was about a 3.2 just about last week. And that was before Ian was really an issue. And the international price of Brent crude lower or about flat, about 87, 86, 88. So this is really interesting. Remember, your benefits are tied to inflation. And inflation is tied to gasoline. But the gasoline is generally the AAA national average. What the gasoline prices are here. International price of Brent crude generally tells you what the gasoline price will be in the United States, except exactly what you and I have been talking about. When there's natural disasters like hurricanes or tornadoes that are going to take offline, turn off the refineries that pump your oil, that drives up, that draws up the price of gasoline. And that's what's happening. As those gasoline prices going up a lot, you see them in the membership newsletter. We saw that, and I started recording that last week. Gasoline had fallen, AAA national average, every day for nearly three months on this channel, down about 20 cents a day. Now, if you watch the newsletter every night, it started to go up. It, started, it was flat for two days. Then it went up about two or four or five cents in the next two, three days. And now it's going up 10 to 20 cents a day. And this is the national average, folks. This is the national average. Here is the uh, indication right today. Ian has left Cuba without power. Uh, Walt Disney World and, United, and Universal Studios Orlando are closing. And the storm center is about 75 miles northwest of Naples, Florida, as of 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday. It's Category 4. It is smashing Tampa. Here's some oil numbers based upon that. Gulf of Mexico uh, is generally produces 190,000 barrels of oil a day or 11 percent of the entire gulf's oil is gone is off they turned it off they turned it off according to the bureau of safety environmental enforcement bsee i've never featured them before but this is the detail you got to give so they've turned off those refineries gasoline is going to go through the roof and those numbers i'm giving you for gasoline today is based upon before ian materialized and this is going to grow across the board. Uh, OPEC Plus meets on October 5th, and they will determine whether they're going to cut or increase production of oil. Indications are right now that they may cut 1 million barrels a day. That means the price is going up. <laughs> Stanley Druckenberg says it's going to be a hard landing in 2023 next year with a deeper recession. Our central case is a hard landing by the end of 2023, he said today. I will be stunned if we don't have a recession in 2023. I don't know how, the timing of it, but it's not going to be your average garden variety across the board. Wow. Are you exhausted? <laughs> I'm exhausted. That is a hot mess right there. Is that not? It's a hot mess, and I just want some comfort. You know what I want to comfort with? Some stimulus jacks. <laughs> I'm going to wrap myself in some stimulus jacks. So let's go into some comfort zone of some wonderful stimulus jacks right now. First, let's go over each of the incredible checks right now. The first, let's go over the easiest one, the lifetime stimulus check. That lifetime stimulus check is for people who are on benefits. Lifetime stimulus, because why? Your benefits are going up a lot. How much? Well, we'll learn that number on October 13th. But that is that lifetime of stimulus. And my prediction is about 11%. I may be high, but that could be thousands of dollars for most of the viewers of this channel. You, if you are on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, Veterans Benefits. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. And it's huge, about $5,000 for some of you, some of you more, some of you a little bit less. That is LSC, Lifetime Stimulus. Next, F, excuse me, next we'll go over ISC, Inflation Relief Stimulus Check. Of all the four I'm going over with you, this is the only one that comes from your state. Inflation relief stimulus check is in nearly every U.S. state. We call this on this channel check D for donut for, yeah, don't have to do anything. <laughs> the average check is $1,000. 
the average check is for you, your income qualifications. One, you know, 75,000 or less, single individual, married couple, 150,000 or less. The average check requires you to get that tax return on file. Yes, if you're on benefits, you may not have to file a tax return, but you can voluntarily file a tax return. Tax return takes all of 10 seconds. Put your name on there. If it's all zeros, put zeros and just send it off. They need to know your address and your name. And that is those incredible inflation stimulus checks. Where do you find them? They are in the membership newsletter down around check D. And at check D, it gives you a link and it gives you the whole breakdown of every state. Yes, virtually every state has it. These incredible inflation stimulus checks, they're coming now. You don't have to do anything for them provided you have filed a tax return. If you haven't, the details are in the membership newsletter. In the case of each state, I give you the link to the state. For example, I'll have the state, I'll tell you the amount, and then I'll say, click here, click this link to go into the actual state, your state to tell that tells you how and where it arrives and to track it and all that incredible stuff. That is inflation relief stimulus checks, ISC. They're in almost every U.S. state, incredible across the board. When you talk about the inflation relief stimulus checks, and I saw this comment actually from two people. It's a great comment. Why have I not heard this on broadcast news? I don't know. I don't own the local news station. <laughs> I don't own the local news station. And one person said, I haven't heard this from my state. And it presumed it didn't exist. And I said, let me run you the quote from your governor two days ago. And the person said, that's two days ago. Why did I not hear this? You know what? Journalism has really fallen apart. And so it's not my job to tell, explain to you why there's bad journalists out there or bad local news stations that don't report this. They should. And my apologies, they're not. That's why LL8 exists. Now, let's go to the next check or checks. And these are federal stimulus checks, FSC. These are checks A through O. And these incredible checks are 14 categories of checks that yield about $300,000, and they're huge. They're federal stimulus checks, meaning they come from the federal government, Washington, D.C., the White House, the Congress. And they're huge, and they are absolutely incredible, $300,000. And these are just absolutely insane. Those incredible checks are for you. And viewers have got to them. Let's go over those incredible checks right now. How do you get these incredible checks? You become a member. You go right in this video, become a member. And all these checks, including the ones I just went over, the LSC, the Lifetime Stimulus, the, the ISC, which is check D, are in the membership newsletter. And now we're going to go over these incredible federal stimulus checks. These checks A through O. What's going on? <laughs> Let's look at the details right now. The first three checks were A, B, and C, passed by the President of the United States in the month of March, or R, still present tense. Checks A, B, and C. They're federal stimulus checks, FSCs, and they were passed by the President of the United States. Joe Biden, executive action in the White House, no Congress, just Joe, about $100,000, checks A, B, and C. Then came around Congress, and they passed more checks. Congress passed checks E through K, seven more categories thereafter. Then came other checks, and I found those for you as well. L and M, N and O, P and Q. All this is in the membership newsletter. I know it's a lot. I'm trying to get into a 40-minute broadcast, 45-minute broadcast. You've got to watch the whole show, folks. That's why there's so much money on this incredible broadcast. Want to go over those checks? I do. Let's go over those incredible checks right now. Let's start with the incredible check A. Check A is $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check. It is, again, the first of these FSCs. Check A, $6,500 to $12,000. How do you get this incredible check? You become a member. Go down the membership newsletter with check A. It tells you where to click the link and go in and get it. It's the weatherizing grant check for the home, for your home. And then, check B. Now, check B is $15,000 to $80,000, but it is not one check. It is 80 to 100 MSC checks. Yes, baby. MSC is here. And it's more than $2,000 a month for, th for, th for six months. Oh, my God. Goodness, it's about $80,000. Viewers are getting, on average, 18 months of checks. <gasps> 18 months of checks. Yes, 18 months of checks, five checks a month. <laughs> Insane. Just incredible. That's incredible check B. Then we have check C. Oh, boy. Check C 
is, as it says, MSCR on the screen. And it is also about 18 months is what viewers are getting. Five checks a month. 18 months of monthly stimulus checks. Just incredible. This is more than your hearts had ever wanted on this channel. This is the biggest MSC payout we've ever seen in the history of the channel. The only difference with check C is I got 12. You hear me right? 12 places to get these incredible check Cs. Wow. Huge. Those are checks A, B, and C. The first three by Joe Biden. Okay. So after Joe did that, then we had Congress come around. And Congress passed some wonderful checks E through K. Those incredible, wonderful checks E through K. We're going to go over those incredible checks right now. Those E through K checks are huge. And this is a continuation of FSC, Federal Stimulus Checks. You ready to go over E through K? I am. So these next E through K Federal Stimulus Checks, FSCs, were passed by Congress. And those incredible checks start right now. $7,500. Wow. Towards a car. $4,000 with a car. F. G, 30% off. H, $2,000 for brand new appliances around the home, a, a dishwasher, a refrigerator, um, a, uh, a, a bacon griller. <laughs> Check I, $8,000 for just incredible stuff. J, another $8,000. And K, $14,000. Those are incredible. Those are the seven next E through K of those federal stimulus checks that amount to MSC is just a huge, but we're not done there yet. I found you then other checks after that, and they are checks L-M-O-P-Q. Well, let's look at those incredible checks. L is $100,000 on the average of a loan, it's just free money. Huge, just huge. And then M is $4,000 of free money, grands. Absolutely incredible closing cost assistance. Then we have uh, my favorite check, I think this is my favorite stimulus item of all of them, is a brand new computer. <laughs> a brand new computer or a brand new laptop or a brand new tablet. $100 to the per and they have the same providers ready for you. Just huge because there are some great tablets out there that are less than $100 plus free internet. Stimulus O is zero down payment, zero closing costs <clears throat> for the buying of a first home. And no mortgage required and no credit, no mortgage required, no mortgage insurance required. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was a little slip there. And uh, no uh, credit check required either. Huge. And then stimulus P and Q. P is incredible. 3% down even for refire existing home. And then $8,000 of free money for you for closing costs. That is insane. And we're just getting started. <laughs> Have you become a member yet? Why would you not? I mean, look and see what has happened already. In the big second half, we're going to go more into these incredible checks. You got a sense of what's going on. We're going to go over more about these ISCs, these FSCs, these LSCs that all add up to a massive amount of MSCs for you. All you got to do is go on with the video, become a member. <laughs> become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, step one. Step two. Stay the second half as we go over these incredible success stories that viewers have had. And you're going to have success stories as well. Viewers are getting massive sums of money. And I'll show you what's going to happen with you as well. Then, we're going to turn back to this economy and understand where this economy is and where it's heading. Then, you're going to see a new commentary from me. You haven't seen this before. A very slightly different commentary. A lot of tough love to go over the importance of doing what you got to do when times are tough. And if you think they're tough right now, well, <laughs> stay the second half. I'll tell you where they're going. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Afternoon's Ally continues with more Simbus. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. 
Join LLA Daily for the excitement of the new LLA Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LLA at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues on a big second half of Afternoons LA from the shores of San Marco, California, where it has, yes, heated up again. Once again, it is heating up. Usually not this late in September, but boy, it is, you know, not pleasant, but apparently this is the last day. <laughs> they said that last time. So here we go. Are you excited? I am. Have you become a member? Go around this video, become a member. Welcome to the nearly 50 new members joining the last 24 hours. I want you part of this channel. Become a member. Get all this incredible stimulus. Welcome to the new members. And I'm very cognizant that you're new here, so I make sure I recap everything so you're up to date on everything that's going on. And let's go over where we are. First, the most important thing to laser in and focus on when talking about this money for you is the federal stimulus checks, the FSCs, those checks from A through O that we just went through. The reason why is there tens of thousands of dollars. I don't want you to focus on small checks. I don't want you to focus on small checks. I want you to start with the biggest checks first, get those, and then when you're done with those, then you can, fo then you can move over to the smaller checks. Why? I've been telling you where this economy is going for a while, and my predictions have been correct. Earlier last year, in 2021 spring, I said that the U.S. economy would, hit, would be hit by inflation of 8% and be pervasive and not going away. I was right. Earlier this year, in 2022, I was the first American broadcaster, like I was the first one for inflation, to predict the U.S. economy was going to go in recession. I recorded that in February this year. No one would even dare say the word. I was right. I said that the two-year bond most recently was going to go to 4%. It has. That the 30-year fixed mortgage rate was going to go 7% by the end of this year. It has. It got it by the end of the week. <laughs> this stuff is moving quickly, folks. It's moving really quickly. And if the mortgage and the bond and the two-year bond is any indication, my predictions have been correct. The only thing that's not been correct in recent days is how quickly this is getting bad. So you can not wait. All throughout this year, I showed you a graphic, I can pull it up in a second, that September's the financial cliff. September's the financial cliff in which things change very quickly. You see what's going on. Things are changing hideously quickly this month. This is why you have to get these incredible sums of money. All right, let's go over these federal stimulus checks, FSCs. The largest, as you saw, is $100,000. The smallest is about eight to $10,000. Next, you gotta do something to get them. You have to become a member, you have to go in to the newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and do it exactly like how it says. Don't do a version of it. Don't do your version of it. Don't do a watered-down or another alternative universe of it. Do exactly as it says. Because if you don't, you won't get the money. There's a specific way they do it. For example, A, B, you go in, you apply. B, you apply. You do it that way. If you're starting to pick up the phone and calling for check A, you're not going to get it because you don't apply over the phone for check A. It actually says you apply on a line. More importantly, you got to get this money now. People are going to really be in trouble very soon. You get the money now. You had the benefit of being ahead of the ball game. Viewers first asked in March for me to get them these checks, and I got them A, B, and C in March. Viewers have been getting them since March. If you just found this channel, welcome. You're still on time. You still can get these checks, but do not delay. Get them immediately. This is like a hurricane out to sea, as I recorded months ago. The hurricane is now on land. you got to get these incredible sums of money across the board. Next, when we go to, when we go to the lifetime of stimulus checks, this is getting really interesting. And let's go over the analysis right now. Get your pens and ready, get your fingers ready and get ready to jump in the live chat. This is the part of the video you love and I love it as well. This lifetime of stimulus is coming up on October 13th. It is the raise of benefits because of inflation. Why? 
Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, Cost of Living Adjustment, which is announced on October 13th. It's determined by three months of data. The July CPI-W, the August CPI-W, and the September CPI-W. The CPI-W is an inflationary number. Now, we have already gotten the July number. It was 8.7. The August CPI-W number was 8.9. And viewers in this live chat and you and I have been discussing what this month likely is, this September CPI-W. You and I understand the following. First, whatever the Federal Reserve did this month, 75 basis point increase at the Federal Reserve meeting a few weeks ago, doesn't impact this number. It doesn't because it's too late in the month. Number two, Federal Reserve didn't meet last month. So whatever they did last, they didn't do anything last month. So there's no impact on the number. So whatever this number is, it is. And let's analyze this number together as a family right now. This is the part of the video you love and I do as well. I'm going to ask you a question and you write the, the answer like eggs, comma up, comma your state. And we'll go over each of those one at a time. Let's start with eggs. Have the eggs in the month of September gone up? My answer, eggs, comma up, comma California. Absolutely, they've gone up. Next, milk. Milk. St month of September. I've seen different answers on this one. So this is really interesting. I've been saying milk down, California. Viewers have been saying milk up in their states. So jump in the live chat, write what you think. Butter, butter up, comma, California. Yogurt, yogurt up, comma, California. Now, here's the most important one in that equation. Groceries. Jump in the live chat and tell me, is the total grocery bill for the same items you bought the prior month up or down, comma, your state. My answer is absolutely. Groceries up, comma, California. Absolutely. It's going through the roof. Now, this is then going to tee up those other parts of that CPI-W. These are easy. The rent is going up. The salaries are going up. And the medical bills are going up. They went up in the month of August compared to the month of July, about 1%, except for salaries was about 2.2%. And they're going up this month as well. That's an easy calculation. All right. Here's the big finale. Based upon what you and I have been seeing, based upon what's going on, where do you think that CPI-W this month of September will be? Again, July was 8.7. August was 8.9. And September, where will it be? Write your answer, comma, your state in the live chat. Here's my history. Over the last two weeks, I had said 8.9 comma California. Earlier this week, when I started to report that the gasoline prices were suddenly going up, I said, I'm, I'm moving into 8.95 comma California because gasoline is now going up. Gasoline was expected to go down this month. And I said, I'm cautious because I need to see if this gasoline continues to track higher. That was before Ian. That was before these refineries offline as confirmed in that report I ran earlier from the Bureau of Safety and also Environmental uh, Enforcement. With that, with 190,000 barrels or 11% of the Gulf's Mexico's oil turned off, uh, and this is for yesterday, which was Tuesday, for today, Wednesday, potentially tomorrow for Thursday, what is my answer? My answer has now changed. I'm now saying 9.0 comma California. Gasoline has gone up a lot, and it's really going to go up even more. And again, if you want to know those gasoline prices, they are a um, whopping 3.7965, up from like 3.2 earlier this month. That's a major move very quickly. I'm going with an 8 point, I'm going now with a 9.0 CPI-W, California. You write in the live chat what you think is going on across the board. One of the benefits of becoming a member is or are, those incredible worksheets. Here they are. Where are they? They are in the membership newsletter around the third line. Print them out and keep track of them because there's a lot to keep track of. Inflation, recession, labor, Federal Reserve. We'll go over more about that on evenings, what to put in there. The next page is a table. It's a table to keep track of all your stimulus you're going to apply for. You're now applying for a lot of checks. You're now applying for a lot of checks. You're applying for all these incredible 300-plus federal stimulus checks, FSCs. You're going to keep track of your lifetime stimulus 
on this channel, LSEs, you're going to keep track of your inflationary stimulus checks, ISEs, but more importantly, you're applying for these federal stimulus checks, A through O. You got 300 plus checks to apply for. As one viewer drag and longtime viewer and, and, and member and volunteer to this channel, triple member, I should say, to LA1, LA2, and LA3, don't forget to jump over to LA2. It's doing gangbuster numbers lately, so make sure you watch LA2, the second channel on this broadcasting family. Dragon says applying for stimulus is almost like a full-time job. She is dedicating about six hours a day. That's what you got to do. And how much has she gotten? $170,000. She recently got $30,000 on top of her existing $140,000. Margaret keeps on getting money. Johnny got $45,000 in, in two days. By Friday, he got $80,000. Starting on Monday, four days, he got $80,000. But he made 18 applications go in. Then we have Lorraine, who's at $150,000. We have John, we have uh, Mark, who's at $166,000. These are people who put a lot of effort in, and we'll feature them more tonight on Evening's LA. Do you want these incredible sums of money? Then go become a member and get check C. Look at these numbers for rent, huge. What about this? Mark's brother in law is getting $15,000. He taught his brother in law about this. Snap, um, Mark's brother in law is going to quarter million dollars. Nisi, she was in the live chat yesterday. She's gone nearly to 50000 Nisi, how much are you at now? If you're on the live chat again tonight, tell me how much you're at now. Here's Mark. He was at 30000 then he went to fifty, then he went to one sixty six, And here's Lorraine. She was at 105, She went to 155 Which tees up my final commentary for today. My final commentary is about people of the cult of laziness. Yes, you know them. <laughs> They're not funny. Uh, but I'm going to try to make it funny because I don't want to be too austere in this. Laziness is infection. And lazy people end with nothing. You will not be lazy on this channel. I want to give you an example of something that happened yesterday because it's a great learning example for you to understand what's going on. We had just gone, you and I just in this video went over checks A through O. And the very first check was check A, Remember? And I told you, check A, you go in the membership newsletter, apply for check A. You apply online with your finger and your phone or your computer, apply for check A. Pretty clear. And that was the weatherizing grant, right? And it's an FSC, federal stimulus check from the federal government, Washington, D.C., the White House, Joe Biden. Pretty simple, right? So a viewer in the live chat yesterday who's a member said that she picked up the phone. <gasps> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Picked up the phone and called for check A. <gasps> okay, problem. Warning signal. Where's the alarm? Sound the alarm. Nicki Minaj, sound the alarm. <laughs> sound the alarm. Uh, wait a second, this is trouble. Why are you picking the phone for check A? You apply online. So you immediately see there's a problem. Person's not listening to the recording, is picking up the phone to call for check A. Why is she picking up the phone to call check A? She's calling Joe Biden to ask about check A. She's calling the federal. Who in the federal government is she calling to ask for the federal stimulus check? It gets worse. <laughs> yeah, it gets worse. She picks the phone to call for the federal stimulus check, check A, for weatherizing your home. She calls her county. Why? Uh, snap out of it, as, as Cher would say in Moonstruck. Snap out of it. Check A, you apply online to get the money from the federal government. It's a federal stimulus check coming from Washington, D.C. You're calling on the phone your county to ask for check A. You know what exactly the answer is going to be from the county. We don't have it. Of course they don't have it. It's not their check. It's from Joe Biden. The county is not Joe Biden. So she's picking up the phone, clearly because she's lazy, uh, and she's calling up the county, saying, "Have yes, check A. I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. They respond, obviously, for obvious reasons. She then explains it well as to weatherize your home. And they, she, they say, so you own a home? She says, no, I rent. <laughs> yeah, this gets worse. She says, I rent. She says, well, you can't repair someone else's home. You don't own the home. You have to go get the landlord to approve that you, and the person's just being, you know, polite to the to the member. Uh, you can't, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> now, normally I would leave this alone and just, you know, delete the comment on the live chat. But I got to tell you what happened thereafter. The viewers on the live chat member, and then proceeds to say, this tells you this entire narration in the live chat, which has nothing to do with this channel. It's, she's, you know, going off to left field, doing everything wrong. And then someone says, that's not how you do it. 
she doubles down. She says, no, 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 this is the way you do it. Not on this channel. Not on this channel. She then takes doing her thing wrong and says, there's no money in the entire state of North Carolina. Based upon her doing everything wrong and not following the channel. And guess what's going to happen? I'm going to have someone in the live chat. I'm going to have someone watching the video that's in North Carolina is going to see her comment and say, there's no money in my state. But that person just said there's no money in my state. That person is hurting an entire state of viewers with her laziness. That's laziness. That's laziness. The viewer was asked to stop. She would not stop. Guess what happened? I banned the viewer. She's now been banned as a member. She will no longer have access to anything on this channel as a member. She would not stop. She was told to stop. She did not listen to check A. You go in the membership newsletter, you apply. It is FSCs from the federal government. It's not from your county. Why are you calling up your county? Why are you calling anyone? You don't call for this check. You apply online with the federal government. And it's one of 300 checks. And every state, including North Carolina, has these 300 checks. Why, if you do your thing wrong, are you telling everyone there's no money in the state? That is hurting an entire state of viewers. Really bad, bad conduct. Banned, not allowed back on this channel. That's lazy. Now, here's another example, but this one's a little bit funnier. Uh, this was a viewer who is not a member, and she said, you know, the federal government should, should just send $50,000 to everyone. I said, I don't want my federal government to send $50,000 to just everyone. <laughs> yes or no? Jump in the live chat. If you think the federal government should just send $50,000 to everyone, you know, the guy that has that crazy YouTube video that walks around with a cat and the cat sings. Should they send 50,000 him? No, I don't want him to have 50,000. The the person who has 15 aardvarks on the front lawn, should he have 50,000? No, he shouldn't have 50,000. <laughs> so viewers ask this viewer, why do you think that the federal government should have 50,000? Because we shouldn't have to do anything for this. Lazy. <laughs> do look up your hand. Lazy. <laughs> I said, ma'am, the federal government not, should not send $50,000 to every American in the United States. And I said, you need to go, you know, pick up the phone and, and get some of these checks. She's not a member. She said, no, I shouldn't. Why not? She said, I'm retired. <laughs> uh, please retire from the chat. <laughs> please retire out of the chat. Uh, <laughs> Uh, even Putin doesn't send $50,000 to all his citizens. Uh, Castro does never send $50,000. No one, no, even fascist regimes or, you know, tyr tyrannical um, governments of third world never send $50,000 to all their citizens. But I appreciate your input. Uh, anyway, <laughs> coming up tonight on Evening's LA, we got a lot coming up. Here we go. We, tonight on Evening's LA, we will be going over these incredible... Federal stimulus checks, A through O, that now are yielding about $300,000. Lynn Glenn got 12 months of utilities. Congratulations, Lynn Glenn. Uh, another of you got 12 months of utilities. Two viewers got 14 months of rent. We have Frank Mancuso, who have gotten eighty dollars to $100,000 from 18 checks out of Florida for check B. We have another viewer out of Florida who got eighty dollars to $100,000 on check B. And, of course, we have Johnny, who got, got $8,000 in four days. We have Lorraine, $150,000. We have Mark, who's got $160,000. These incredible FSCs, checks A through O, are all in the membership newsletter. We'll go over more about them tonight in primetime on evenings. Then we'll also be going over these lifetime of stimulus checks, LFCs. This raising up of your benefits. We'll be going over these inflationary stimulus checks coming inflationary relief stimulus checks that are coming to virtually every U.S. state. You don't have to do anything for these. These are these IRCs. And these all add up to incredible MSCs, baby. Very excited. Go in this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Powercast, you know, VIP. Get these incredible checks. I'll see you tonight on that primetime broadcast. We'll have all the breaking news. It's a show you do not want to miss. Tonight, o'clock tonight, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Become a member, and I'll see you then. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more. <laughs>